welcome back it's your girl bella back at you with another video and i'm sorry i have been gone like half a century i was trying to be consistent and then i'm like just kind of fell off of this the planet but i'm back um yeah i got a lot of free time now that both of my jobs have been shut down with the coronavirus so i figured i'd just get back into it i do want to get back into more videos now that like my schedule has kind of like evened out I mean, I still work basically every day, but now I have an idea of when I'm scheduled and like when I can film videos and when I can edit videos. So hopefully I'll get back into this shebang soon because I have missed filming videos. Today's video is going to be about getting the perfect base for going out because I just recently had my 21st birthday, March 8th, guys. It was... Well, I want to say it was lit, but honestly, um, I have an egg allergy and I ate eggs a couple days before my birthday, even though like I knew it was going to affect me badly, but I was like, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. But um, I ended up being sick my whole birthday. So like, it was fun. I had fun. I went like karaoke with my friends and then we went out to this um, bar thing. I thought it was like a club thing, but it was actually like um, a bunch of drag queens like performing for us, which was fun, but like I just... I felt really sick. We like made it to like midnight and then I was just like, let's just, let's just go. So, so anyways, let's get into this video on how to beat thy base. Get it, beat that base instead of beat that face. <laughs> See what I did there? Cause we're just focusing on the base today. So the first thing you do to beat your base is to go in with your primer. I'm gonna be using the Cover FX primer. If you can see it, there we go. The Cover FX Gripping Primer. It has literally changed my life. Um, it is literally the best primer I have ever purchased. And then after primer, I would do my eyebrow. Okay, y'all. Um, stay tuned because my grandma wants me to go get her um, breakfast at Wendy's. Hey guys, I am back. Um, let's continue with the video. So I had to leave there for a second. And then first thing for the base, I'm actually going to start out with contour, not foundation. Shocker. I've known about this technique for a while, but I really started investing in it after I saw Tati upload that video with Scott Barnes. But I never thought about like contouring my lips, honestly. Now that I'm looking like a whole ass mess, we are going to uh, blend. But so we're just gonna be taking this brush. It's the Jeffree Star one. It's the collab, the JS3. Um, I got this from his first club, and then also because I had like the little case too that came with it. And then I'm just going to um, blend basically. And I like, okay, I have a small forehead, but I like it to be pretty bronze, so I'm gonna take it really far down. And then I'll usually just go with concealer, like, right here over top of it. Okay. And then now that this is all pretty and perfect. So that was a really scary moment. I, I should have not been that close. I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer. And I like this concealer, but it definitely oxidizes on me. So that's not fun. And then I'm just going to clean up my contour. With my concealer. I do not add too much concealer and make sure you blend this out pretty fast or like work a little space at a time just because the e.l.f. concealer does dry pretty fast. Um, sometimes I'll even go in with my Morphe Continuous Mist and I will spray my face. And there are definitely better setting sprays out there than the Morphe setting spray. But like the reason that like I continuously buy it coming back to it is the like the way that it sprays out. It's just like I can't get that anywhere else. And although it's a little bit more luminous than I like, I can definitely like work around that. So it's not like that big of an issue. Plus I just came out with the matte one, which I really want to buy. But I already like have three morphing study sprays that I'm trying to go through right now. So, well, technically I have four setting sprays because I have this one from LA girl that I've been testing out and I did use it when I went out for my birthday but I didn't use it the night that I went out this last weekend so it kind of just depends on my mood and I do like it it's just not like an everyday thing that I'm reaching for but 
And I tried the Beauty Bakery one to see if I like that one, but like I just, it's a good setting spray, don't get me wrong. I just can't get over like the scent. It's just too much for my nose. And then just continuously blend it out until everything's blended. And then you should have something a little like this when you're looking up close. Next we're going to take our beauty blender and then I'm just going to get it wet with some of the setting spray just because it's kind of moist from when I used it the other day. And then I'm going to go with that flush foundation that I was using earlier and then just draw some lines on the face. Spray my face with setting spray and then blend. And see how it just kind of like toned everything down. Now you got a whole bunch of coverage without applying a lot of foundation. I did kind of go heavy on the contour, which you definitely can go lighter, but like as you can see, like it kind of blended into nothing, doesn't it? And then you still have like that contour into the hairline. It's gonna be beautiful when you add like your powder products on top of it. I'm gonna go with my Pure Concealer. This is the Disappearing Ink Concealer in the shade Blush Medium. Probably should have gone for a more neutral concealer, but I got this when we were holding a Pure event. This was one of the gratis I picked, so, you know. Cause I wanted to try it out, cause I tried their foundation out. Because uh, one of the Ulta, one of the girls that like works with Ulta, that comes in every now and then. I forget her name, and I feel really bad, but I'm just horrible at names. But she gave me the foundation to try, and I like really thought it was a hit. I like really liked it for like an everyday, like natural look type of thing. And then instead of just going straight up, I like to go up and around my brow with the concealer because I don't like to take any way of the contour right here because even though I do have a small face I like my contour basically everywhere and so now that that is all blended in before like anything moves around on me I'm just gonna go ahead and set my concealer but I'm only gonna set it underneath my eyes and on my forehead and nose because I'm still gonna be using cream products I'm gonna be using the Cover FX powder today just because I am. I switched between this one and the flower powder. The, what is it called? The Beauty Bakery flower powder. And then I use the Cover FX one as well. I just switch up every day. There's not really a specific one that I like better over the other. Um, just like the undertones are different in them, so I use them depending on my mood. And then next, I'm going to go in with the, next I'm going to go with the Milk Makeup Blush. I got this as my birthday gift at Sephora, and instead of going directly on my face with it, I'm going to just take it on this brush. Um, it's just an angle brush. I got this from my school at Aveda, like when I went to like Aveda school, it's really not, I mean, it's a size, soft and nice brush, but like any brush any angle brush will do and i'm just gonna go ahead and add some blush into my look it's just like such a beautiful blush it's like so like subtle but like you can see the color that it's adding because i add a freak ton because i love blush and i'm just gonna carry this into my hairline um basically it's my bronzer um, well, it's like my second bronzer. I go over my nose too, even though I did set my nose, I'm still gonna go over it because the thing I love about this is that you can apply it over um, powder and it doesn't matter too much, as you can tell that I did on my forehead when I blended it in. And I'm just gonna kind of, you know, go up the sides of my nose and to my nose and just take it everywhere because I love blush. And then this is the Morphe Jeffree Star GS2 that I'm using. And I'm just going to swirl it in my powder and then 
take it on this side, which has no product in it, and just swirl it around so it gets evenly distributed on the brush. And then take it around my face to set everything. And then also wipe away the bake that I still kind of had on my forehead. And we're going to take my Morphe setting spray and just spray. And then we're going to do that. Press it in. Everything is about a smooth and clean appearance. And then I like to pay extra concentration to under my eyes because I have these very deep lines right here. And if I don't, makeup settles into them weird when I'm blending and stuff. So we're just gonna, I just took some setting spray on my beauty blender and we're just gonna blend that out until the setting spray is dry and everything is really set. Collab with Malika. It's made with love by Malika and then this is the Bestie bronzer. So get in, get the bronzer and I just have like a random fan brush here. My mom got me like a little random like makeup brush on Amazon for Christmas one year and so I'm just gonna like bronze my face with that and then we're just gonna go like up and out again one of my favorite strokes in life <gasps> I'm just gonna take that everywhere that we previously bronzed on um, now you got contour on and you've snatched yourself um you know with some more blush and we're gonna take Mm, yeah, we're gonna take this one. We're gonna just stick to this palette right here and we're gonna take this blush right here, mix it in with a little bit of this blush. So like two and then one is the ratio that I'm using, if you wanna know. And then I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheek. So to finish off the base, we gotta go in with some highlighter and Use my MAC highlighter today. I'm gonna be using it's the Whisper of Guilt Extra Dimension highlighter. This was like a Christmas thing that they did. I'm like, I don't know if you can tell or like if you can hear it, but like it's completely loose in there. So if I open it the wrong way, um, a whole bitch is lost, <laughs> and that would be really sad. So um, yeah. So I'm just gonna take my brush and again the Morphe setting spray and now you guys see why I have three because I use this literally all the time and then I'm going to be soiling my brush in the highlighter and tapping off the excess and going in and I like to build it slowly but surely so that way I don't apply too much right off the bat so once you're highlighted to the gods, um, maybe a little more on this side, your base is done and you are a queen and you are thriving, surviving, snatched, glowed, blushed, um, and everything. So yeah, this is what um, makeup looks like with a little like lower bit of lighting and then as I increase the lighting, you can kind of see what it's looking like. Um, yeah, and then this is the brightest that the light goes. Um, actually, let me set it and show you what it looks like then. So I want to test out a new palette today, and I want to also record a video for it, so I am going to be going and doing that off camera really fast, and then I will be right back for y'all. And this is the final look. I'm still wearing a shirt, I swear. Of course, you can always do a darker look for going out. You can add more glitter. I just added glitter to my inner corner, and that's it. You could go, like, all the way up with, like, a crack case look. You know, do whatever you want for your eye makeup and your lip makeup. But I just wanted to do something. Because technically, I'm not going out right now. It is, like, the middle of the day. So I kind of want to do something a little more fresh. But I could still, like, rock this out. Some, like, ripped black jeans, like a white tank top, a denim jacket or like maybe a leather jacket because I'm kind of a leather jacket queen I have like five of them and um yeah you're good to go you're good to party on my own make sure you like subscribe and comment down below I look forward to hearing from you all so without further ado I am gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and sign up here so peace
peace.